so this was a very fun video for me so I just happened to log on right and so I played and I had never seen this map before although I think I've heard of it before like I've seen it scrolling through stuff but I've never seen it so I saw those shields on the wall and I just had to play shield maintenance so I got shield maintenance got berserkers and I wanted this to be the most realistic Viking battle I could think of and so I was gonna have fun with this I was definitely gonna be super aggressive I was gonna try to advance my shield maintenance kinda keep them in formation make them looking good I'm constantly looking back at my shield maintenance because I remember how cool they look so I decided to move them up especially because I saw there was nobody behind here I thought this would be defended but I I wasn't sure so so I figured eh, get in position and then when I realized they start doing a lot of arrows I get my dudes in just in time look at those arrows oh my gosh there's a lot of them but watch this the arrows really start to come on this is a really fun game for me I got over 200 kills a little disappointment at the end I, I don't want to spoil it but it was very fun and yeah for whatever reason I don't think I have audio for this I'm not sure why the recorder I used didn't do audio and it's not the best quality either because it's just it's Xbox game bar so on my computer I just use Xbox game bar and did it that way but honestly very fun game so excited uh, yeah I hope you enjoy it too So yeah, very fun. I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. I decided to sneak around here. I definitely was not going to hit those archer f archers right on. That would be very dangerous. And I kept kind of popping them. I'm really getting used to shield maintenance. I haven't played shield maintenance in a while. Actually, I haven't played the game in about a week. This is my first day. This is about the third battle of the day. But I haven't played the game in a few weeks. So these archers just come running back. I guess they're going to the supply point. Dumbest thing ever, cause I now here I see all these heroes behind me. I'm thinking I think it's gonna be a losing battle. Like when I do this hit, I f feel heroes hitting me. I feel like we're getting hit by a unit at the end. I'm like, oh crap, something's gonna hit me. But then I look around, huh? huh there's nothing there, so I'm gonna go chase this guy, kill him. And so far, that's a pretty successful start, especially cause I'm not the best with shield maidens, and they're they're not a bad unit at all. But I'm not the best with shield maidens. Obviously, I'm not hitting anything head on right now I'm definitely flanking and killing archers but I'm not the best with shield maintenance so I'm waiting till I lose my cooldown so I can actually charge those pavis crossbowmen over there and that's where my thought processes go but in this attack here this is where I make one big enemy for the whole rest of the game and so I guess I slaughtered somebody's archer unit and there were some very angry dual blade over there you see that dual blade Whew. He gets mad at me. So, I hate the fact that the shield maidens always come back to you after a charge. It's annoying quite often. Or you, you forget to continue to press them on attack. So, I had I lost a few shield maidens that way. But still, overall, easy kill. I killed that hero. Pushing through. Very fun. Oh, my gosh. So, this guy. This guy right here. So, he's not... I mean, he's actually a pretty good dual blade. But I was not paying attention. And I was just happy. I, I was, like, thrilled. And I was like, wow. That was, that was pretty... That was pretty epic, especially because I didn't think this was going to go very well. I was like, wow, oh, I'm just actually really happy I pressed the record button because I didn't think I would. So that guy, Suluku, or however you say that, I don't know how you say that. This guy <laughs> decides to hunt me for just about the entire rest of the game. I was killed. Oh, yeah, so he killed me once. I didn't think much of it. think I'm going to continue. I got 100 kills already, already thrilled. And now, obviously, I'm going to go into the next Viking, Berserkers. I actually have a nice skin on my ber Berserkers. I have that new skin that came with, um, what do you call it? What season are we on? Oh, gosh, the Viking season, the second Viking season. I don't even, I forget the number, but yeah. I've been playing since season seven, like the uh, Scourge of Winter season, but I haven't, I've been very on and off. So there's a lot of seasons I haven't played a lot on. I played a lot during the um, the last one of these last two seasons. So I played a lot during season the the French season. I played a lot there. That's where my original horse came from. French season. I have I completely did went through that tree, and so I rushed the berserkers and I kind of got lost. I was just trying to keep pressing my two, keep spinning, keep hit pressing two, two, three. I didn't want to die because if I die, then my berserkers can't do their abilities and stuff. So I'm just my main goal is not to really fight with my hero. Like, normally I'm pretty good with fighting with my hero, but because my berserkers are being so good, I don't need to fight with my hero. Now, I hit him hard with that um, ultimate. Very strong. I'm just... We're getting through there slowly. So, shield men are 
pretty good. They're not elite though. That's actually blue. Those guys are actually blue. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, those are those are the blue shieldmen. Surprisingly, they surprised me on their strength. So I'm just kind of being careful, to make sure I don't die anytime soon. But I am trying to make sure I don't those heroes don't bother me too much. So I did that. I didn't realize how low health I was. I wasn't paying attention to my health enough. So I run out of here, and I'm thinking I'm pretty safe. I, I rush back. I'm going to go behind here. I'm going to try to heal up. And, yeah. This dual blade, he was chasing me all the way from back there. That's the second time he's killed me. And I'm like, oh, no. This guy's, this guy's, he's mad. He's trying to kill me, right? So, then I'm going to go in with my Aura Flame Guards. Or, um, you know the French guys. I call them Aura Flame Guards now because I have them maxed out. You see them there? I got 163 kills. That felt pretty good. I wasn't doing very good today, so this is where I kind of wanted to end it. So after this, I don't play any more Conqueror's Blade for today. Or for that day. Just because I had already played enough that day, and I was just trying to ease out of it. Ended on a good note. Although I, I did decent. Like, I had, 100, I had 100 kills in a few other games and stuff. I'm pretty regular about getting 100 kills. But getting getting 200 kills is not my normal. Not at all. Although I, I have got quite a bit more than that but it's never felt like I earned it like this time I felt like I actually kind of used some strategy didn't totally get myself killed other times I've got well over 200 kills was when the berserkers were just OP and I just got against a bunch of weak units and I didn't feel like I didn't feel like it was worth anything like you'll see you'll see people recording of just berserkers just killing so many units but did you really do anything you just sat there and pressed the, the button so you know I felt like I was actually going against stronger units I'll be honest though, the shield maiden, I was not going against stronger units. I was just being a being flanking very well. I was flanking them. Oh, so I see these guys I go to help out. And right as I press the charge, then I see the archers here. Now otherwise I would probably would have just charged and got the archers, but I had already put them in the charge position, so I decided to help kill these guys. Those guys fox I never actually got the fox skin because school started and I stopped playing. Or the the skin for the other Vikings. Because I have the skin, the special skin for Berserkers, right? I have the special skin for Berserkers for this season, but I don't have the special skin for uh, Sons of Fenrir, right? So those guys. I just have them basic looking. But the Sons of Fenrir look cool anyway. I, I think so. This guy, he gets me again. He is mm, third time. Third time. So that's, that's a disappointment, but I'm looking 293. I got three minutes left. Can I make it to 200 kills? I would be thrilled. Just thrilled if I can make it, right? So I didn't do very good with the Orphan Guards. I did okay, but they're... Normally, I, I can do actually pretty good with them. A lot of people aren't a huge fans of them. I like them, especially when you pop their abilities right. They're very good. So Village Watchmen, I'm just kind of going to put them in position and leave them. That's, that's kind of my general plan with Village Watchmen. I don't have to micromanage them. They're probably not going to get many kills anyway. That's the way I think about it. I've had a few games where I happen to go against weak units and I'll get a good chunk of kills, but generally, no. I actually have this one video, which is kind of cool. This whole unit of Berserkers chases me into my, I guess, safe zone where I don't take damage. And my and I thought it was crazy because it's kind of cool to see um, Berserkers getting completely killed by these Village Watchmen. Or Village Pikemen? No, I think they're called, yeah, Village Watchmen. Yeah, I see that. Okay. So, very fun video. I enjoyed it a lot. I felt... I like the realisticness of it. I mean, sort of. The best you can get with Conqueror's Blade. It felt realistic. It felt like we were all working together as a team pretty well. But the fact is, we're, we're late. We only got two minutes left and we haven't taken it. Although, look how open it is there. Like, we should take it. But there's always heroes on point slowing us down and stuff. And so, this is what I love about Glaive. This is why I've been playing Glaive lately. This is why. This is why. Oh my gosh. Like, poor guy. Look at the... Oh, I feel... I kind of feel bad, but I don't because that was so fun. Predator. I got Predator. I'm not sure how you get Predator, but I'm guessing because I just killed a bunch really fast. Um, I go ahead and chase this guy down. I don't want him spawning in more and bringing us up. He misses his hit. So I could have easily handled this on my own for sure. So I just, I'm just waiting for him to attack or do something. I hit him, do a good chunk of damage, even though he had his um, iron, what do we call it, iron sides on, iron sights or whatever. And so shield gets the kill, or the spear gets the kill. A little disappointed with that, but we're fine. 
So yeah, I actually don't have any other unit to get. I'm just here to get my horse. Because I always like to have a horse. And especially because I'm Glaive, I have a horse ability. And I like to use that whenever I can. And so now that I have no unit, this is what I generally do as I go around picking off archers. Because archers can be very powerful. And there, there's the guy that I saw who kept killing me, right? And so I was going to chase somebody. He's deep in enemy territory. I'm like, you know what? I'll just get some of these archers. I didn't think this guy would still be following me. So he's turning around. He came back. And so there he is. He didn't get the kill on me, but he got an assist. So th he technically killed me four times. So he caused me to die four times. Yeah, I think he got his revenge. He did pretty well. But I was, I couldn't be mad. Like, I, I could sort of be mad. Like, normally I would be mad at dual blades that just hunt you, hunt you. But no, I can't be mad. I'm at 219 kills. How can I complain? And it was just a fun battle. I happened to hit the record button. I wish I had audio on this, though. And this is a very, what I thought was a very cinematic scene right here that I decided to watch here. I'm going to remove that. So this guy, look at this. Look how cinematic that looks. These guys charge. I mean, sometimes you get those rare moments where Conqueror's Blade is kind of cool. It's really cinematic, and look at that. They're pushing up. Those guys are in a very defensive position. It just looks really cool. Now, they're getting hit by archers hard, too. So they're they're getting hit from everywhere. Those village marksmen start surrounding them, and they're eventually, you know, that guy knew he, he wouldn't have won the fight, the encounter, which is disappointing. So even though we did so good and I did so good in the beginning, we did not win the match, and that was the main disappointment I mentioned in the beginning. I didn't win the match, which would have been even better. But I, again, I couldn't be mad. This was a fun game. And so, especially me getting back into it, because I've been on and off when school started. Bef over the summer, I played a lot. So I'm currently uh, not quite level 200, I don't think. Or no. No, no. Oh, I am. Oh, I'm 290. So I'm not quite level 300 as my actual character level. And I'm hoping to make more Conqueror's Blade, depending on how interested people are i've looked at other conquerors blade youtube channels so oh, that guy he got his mvp of his team so he got the actual mvp yeah so he did really good that's the guy that kept killing me but look at that four out of the nine no three out of the nine kills is me and then one out of the six assists was me as well so he, he killed me a bunch i'm surprised he didn't die the entire game <laughs> yeah he's a he's a good dual blade player for sure i was trying to try to, i wanted to do it as adam's friend or try to text him or something but uh, I guess for whatever reason, he was in the other EU server. I'm EU1. Even though I'm from America, that was just an accident. I wasn't thinking when I first started this game. And because I already had my account to, like, level 50 or so, when I actually realized, oh, wait, I probably should be on a U.S. server or American server, it's too late now. I don't know how to switch my character from server to server. And so I just, I've been playing on EU1. I haven't had any, any big glitching issues anyway. So, yeah. This was a fun game. If you guys want to listen, if you guys want to hear it like with music, I think that would be kind of cool because I was a. I've seen some videos in Conqueror's Blade where they put the scenes to music and definitely, definitely let me know if you enjoy this because I want to make more. But again, I want to make sure there's a. Um, what's the word? An interest in it. You know, if I have viewers, now of course I'm going to keep making videos. But school, so school's definitely slowing me down a bunch. And as far as anybody who actually subscribed to my channel about ARC YouTube videos, I worked on 100 days and I got it quite far. And then I worked on multiple ARC videos and they just never really played out. School started. I, I had a, quite a few ideas for ARC videos that I actually I actually have like 50% done but just never actually finished producing them. But I figured ARC 2 is right around the corner. And I kept having issues with my recording software and it just became really difficult. So I've been working on refining all that, getting all my computer systems set up. And I'm not going to be doing ARC on Xbox anymore. I'm going to be doing ARC on computer. And so when ARC 2 comes out, I'll be able to do everything. If there's mods for ARC 2, I'll be able to use those and just kind of build on everything. Hopefully, whenever ARC 2 comes out, I will be making content for that. Hopefully. Like, most likely. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video awesome please let me know if you enjoy this okay have a good day